Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, fifth video, I guess. Um, last time we included the clips uh, to the pre-compositions. Um, I tweaked a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I added like this three and a half uh, in between because this one scene was not long enough and I decided to add another scene switch right here. As you can see, I will play it, right? So that's fine, we need to adjust it, of course, but just so you know. So today we will talk about scales and graphs in the main focus. Um, to explain that, um, we will go in here in the time, the time ruler and go on, for example, this scene. I wanna do a scale right in here. So if we wanna do a scale, we it depends on where we want the scale, of course, but we select the layer, the composition for this, and we're gonna press S. S for scaling, you know it, uh, from the shortcut video. Okay, if we press S, it open up the scale uh, thing. And if we left click right here on the scale, on the little clock, you can see it creates automatically a keyframe right here. This keyframe just basically shows the scale percentage as you can see right here. So at the moment it's 100% that's the regular stat. So for example uh, we want to do a scale out. If we want to do a scale out we're gonna start with a higher value because if we want to scale out we as you can see need to decrease the percentage. If we do it right there you can see we don't have enough uh, footage, enough space to do that. So we begin with the higher value, for example, like 160% or whatsoever. And then we go to the end of the scene. You can also go a little farther, but for me it's uh, in here. So the end of the scene and we go with 100%. So back to regular. Okay, so if we have this, you can see it's linear right now. To change the speed, we can just select both of them. Just hold the left mouse so you got that selected. And then we're gonna press F9 to easy ease it. And you can see the keyframe changes to this little thing right here, which basically which basically shows that's easy eased. And now we're gonna click on the graph editor. Okay. If you don't have this window, you might be in if you right click in the speed graph so it might looks like this so you just right click go on value graph and if you're in here you just can select it to see how the graph looks at the moment what we want to do is we want a fast beginning at the start so we're going to do an increase so you see the curve goes really fast right here to the 100 value so if you want to speed up you need to imagine that you need to have this point as fast as possible to get to this point so to make this you can go for example like this and then if you're gonna play it it's really fast and you have a clean scale out okay and that's enough for that scene we have a scale out and we want to do a scale in on another scene so i don't know which one maybe on the hand scene so we got the hand scene and now again press s now we want to do a scale and so the percentage needs to increase to the end to do that we go on the end of the clip it's better to to see if we go one uh, one step one keyframe before that you can go back and forwards with page up and page down so as you can see moves one frame and we want to increase that to like 125 we don't want to increase our value too much because more you scale in less will be the quality at the end so 125 is probably good so what i do now is put the keyframe to the end select both again f9 graph editor and now we want to speed as well at the beginning so what we're gonna do is put that like this so 
it goes really fast to the value we want and then it looks like this which is just a basic scale in clean and probably smooth we're gonna talk about how to do like blurs and uh, motion blur and stuff like that we're gonna talk about that in the effects uh, panel I, I would say so we don't need to worry about that as well so this is just to get to know the graph as you can see with the value you can do it really fast and if you go on the speed graph you can see it's a bit different we're gonna do another example for that now you know the basic scales and one other scale I also do a lot is this kind of one so for that we're gonna do a scale right here and at the end as well the keyframe at the end we're gonna change to 125 as well and the one at the beginning we leave at 100 it's also a scale in and we want to drag this 100 keyframe at the beginning a bit farther like this so it's right here what we're gonna do is we select both yeah, press F9 graph editor right click on the value graph and what we're gonna do now is we want to do something like this as you can see it has another impact it's not at the start it will come some keyframes later some frames later not some keyframes sorry it will come some frames later and has another impact and i will add some blurs and all the other stuff in the next video i would say and yeah so what we have now is we added some scales added some positions right here and you can do the same for slides and scales but i don't really use slides you can do the same for scaling you can do the same for slide effects for rotations it's all the same it's just with other values i can do separate videos on rotation and slide transitions if you want so but for this edit we don't need that we only need some scales and this position for example it was a bit longer video now but i hope you get all the stuff uh, i wanted to explain you i will add some more scales probably to one or two scenes but this is just a continue of what i did now and i will see you next time when it comes to the effects all right see you soon